Hi, my name is Jessie, and the product I chose to review was Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper's been one of my favorite sodas, one of my, fav my family's favorite sodas for quite a long time. So that's the one I chose to do, and I have a cool slideshow that I will attach to this um, when I upload my video and my video link. So that's a bunch of cool facts on there and whatnot for the project. But... You can see Dr. Pepper ads on, bill I know I've seen billboards around, but most commonly it's a social media um, platform that is used. So commercials, that's the most common one. The current commercial is Mr. Sweet. And if you haven't seen those, that's definitely something you'll want to look up because it is pretty funny. <laughs> but um, the soda, it is a soda, so obviously it's carbonated. It's got... It's actually, Dr. Pepper is actually fascinating because Charles Alderton created it in 1885 to give people a new flavor of soda because at the time it just, to him it was dull and he wanted people to experience something new. So he was a med student and actually worked his magic and came up with Dr. Pepper which is 23 different flavors in one and it's definitely a unique flavor. I'm assuming maybe you've tried it, but if you haven't, it is really good. Definitely targets, well not targets, but the audience is usually more young adult to middle eight, middle aged adult. Usually the commercials feature those kinds of people. It's that's the main audience they're looking at. Ownership, Dr. Pepper is owned under the Dr. Pepper Snapple group. So DPS is usually the name that they do use, and they've been they've been their own group, and they're actually one of the um, one of the biggest companies for sodas or for beverages, I guess you could say. They in, included with Dr Pepper, they have 50 plus other brands of sodas such as Sunkissed, Sundrop. Um, several others I'm trying to think of, but Canada Dry, so ginger ale, that's definitely a popular one as well. So they own that. Our Dr. Pepper Snapple group own 50 of those, but um, the CEO is Larry D. Young, and he's been, he oversees how Dr. Pepper's made and helps run the company. <laughs> but, um, Dr. Pepper Snapple Group, they have got quite a variety of jobs, which includes merchandisers, which is the most popular one, and that's going to, the average salary for a merchandiser is usually around 24000 a year, however, it can go from 22000 to 41000 anywhere in that range. But there are other jobs such as loaders and account managers scientists to help make the drinks and bottle the drinks. Um, let's see. Uh, it usually costs around 10 cents to 12 cents to actually make the drink. Um, there are no real laws on that I could find regarding just Dr. Pepper, but the FDA does oversee all of the ingredients that go into the Dr. Pepper and all the other sodas that are out there so anything that's going into these drinks are FDA approved so those will be the most those will be the laws that are included um, however Boulder Colorado where I'm from actually passed a law that can they tax on sugar uh, in these extra sugar be sugary beverages and that was as of July 1st actually um, not really a law, but New York has made a restriction for the um, any sodas that are over 16 ounces. That is prohibited. Soda does have a rep for being very sugary, and a lot of parents don't want to give their dr these kind of drinks to their children, but they are very good. <laughs> um, Dr. Pepper Snapple Group, they make about $3.8 billion. Uh, in profit, at least as of 2016 they did, and that's including all of their products, so like Sunkist and Sundrop and Canada Dry, like I mentioned before, as well as Dr. Pepper and their others. So it's not exactly just Dr. Pepper, but them as a whole. Let's see here. Um, 
the role in society that Dr. Pepper has is like kind of a typical beverage at, along the soda line. Um, but they do value, if you've noticed in their commercials, they do make them very funny. But if you go back, older ones do kind of, they value the fam family life. And you'll see, usually in the commercials, you'll see both maybe a parent and their child drinking a Dr. Pepper as, and they advertise it as a refreshment after hard work or a long day's work. Um, but their commercials do have quite the effect on society because when they do advertise them, it's usually you see, for example, in one of the commercials that are out there with the Mr. Sweet commercial, a woman is trimming the hedges in her front yard and is completely exhausted, wiping the sweat off her face. And here comes Mr. Sweet with the Dr. Pepper as to refresh her, to help her get through her day. So it kind of t makes society want to drink more uh, soda beverages, I guess you could say, um, with, by saying, oh, well, long day hard work, here's a refreshment, drink more soda. Um, but yeah, um, I'm definitely a fan of Dr. Pepper. If you haven't tried it, you definitely might want to. I'm trying to think if I missed anything. I hope not. Um, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, well, that's my presentation and hope you have a good summer and have a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Thanks.